always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Well, what's the saying? A picture, or let's say a camera, shows a thousand words out there, and you can see the snow melt. It's fast and furious. We have raindrops on the lens, overcast sky. If we don't see any sunshine today, folks, this will be five consecutive days without any sunshine. And what's this, 17 days? No, that was precipitation, but I think we're at... Uh, 10%, just under 10% total sunshine for the month of January. Here's a live look. This is downtown Grand Rapids, 36 degree temperature, and <laughs> there isn't any snow around Rosa Parks, and it, it looks more like a pond out there than an ice skating rink. What a flip. Kind of reminds me of last year. We got all that snow and just flipped just like that, the pattern. And once again, we got the rain out there, not snow, although some reports in around the Ionia area uh, towards, uh, let's say, the a Vestberg location, Carson City, Harborstead could be mixing in with a little bit of snow at the present time. Five uh, mile an hour, or five visibility is five miles, six miles in Battle Creek. So this is a vast improvement area wide compared to the previous couple mornings. And I also want to show you this from coast to coast, the coldest temperature is 20 degrees in Bismarck. You want to talk about a big change compared to last week at this time. It's just amazing. There's no Arctic air anywhere across the United States. Pretty rare for this time of year. Temperatures uh, up and down uh, from you know, Straits area right down to the Michigan Indiana state line. Everybody's pretty much about the freezing mark, and that's good news as this rain moves in. We don't have to worry about slippery conditions out there. But again, there's going to be some ponding of the water. That in itself could create some issues, maybe some uh, hydroplaning. We'll check in with Tom in just a moment. And you can see that rain moves out. We get a break right around lunchtime. More rain moves in uh, later this afternoon into the evening hours. And right now, it looks like this area of high pressure is going to give us a dry Saturday. A couple flurries are possible north of Grand Rapids. And then it looks like on Sunday, the small chance, especially east and southeast, East of Grand Rapids, we could get a little bit of a wintry mix in the cards for us, but that'd be about it. Today's rain right on through tonight will end up being about a quarter to three quarters of an inch. Eight day forecast featuring, you know, nothing cold in sight, could a little clipper system giving us a rain snow mix on Tuesday. Tom? All right, yes, we do have those wet road conditions out there, so that could create uh, some slow spots for people, but uh, by and large, uh, the roads are going to be in a lot better shape than what we have had for so many days now in a row. But uh, taking a look right now at the freeway situation heading into and around the downtown Grand Rapids area. If you are getting ready to head out the door, uh, no major problems right now. We are crash-free across uh, M6, 131, 196, and I-96. No uh, significant delays for you. Going to give you a live look outside. This is I-196, eastbound and westbound through uh, the Medical Mile in downtown Grand Rapids. You can see extremely light traffic out there right now, but those wet road conditions. I'll have another traffic update for you coming up in about uh, 15 minutes. Trees and Donovan.